Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about the CW shows as a whole because we got some massive news that just came out, like I don't know, a few hours ago or so. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the CW has officially announced that they have renewed all 13 of its current scripted TV series that are not ended this season, obviously that excluding Arrow because Arrow is ending this season. So this is the 2020, so you know, in October when the season start again to 2021 by the end around May time. Um, all our DC TV shows have been renewed apart from Arrow obviously. So yeah, this is massive news and I'm going to talk about some of the websites, you know, we got this covered being like, yeah, it's going to get cancelled. No, of course it's not going to get cancelled, like I told everyone. And yeah, so maybe I'll go off on a bit of a rant about that. But anyway, so basically the CW has given an early renewal to these shows. Even shows like Legends of Tomorrow that hasn't even aired its season 5 yet, it's been confirmed for season 6, which is kind of crazy. So they obviously have a lot of confidence in Legends right now. And maybe they've seen some of the episodes because I do believe they actually started filming like around the same time that all our other shows started filming. So, you know, they've got the episodes in a pipeline already, it seems like. And so, yeah, let's, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about all the different, you know, shows that have been renewed. So we've talked about Legends of Tomorrow and now let's move on. So The Flash is getting season seven. Like I said, obviously there was no reason to believe that The Flash would not get a season 7 considering it's the highest rated show on the network and it does them incredibly well, it makes them a lot of money and also it's got such a big fandom that obviously it was going to get renewed and I believe that Grant's contract on the show may be up this season or maybe next season, I think it's season 7 for all the shows because I'm pretty sure... Stephen Amell when he got to, was it season 6 or 7, I'm not sure, but one of those seasons Stephen had to renegotiate, I believe his contract to, you know, stay on as Arrow and that's why they got season 8. So I feel like um, The Flash is pretty safe and it's only if Grant wants to leave, if, you know, they were ever going to end the show, I believe that The Flash will go on longer than Arrow, unless they want to be like, oh, let's copy Arrow and just send it at season 8. But apart from that, I believe that he will continue being the Flash, that being Grant. I feel like he's going to do it for a longer time than Steven as, you know, the Green Arrow. So, yeah, the Flash coming back for Season 7, that's extremely exciting. I cannot wait for next season. And I'm really, really hoping, you know, I'll give you some sort of hopes of mine for the Flash next season. I'm really hoping for a speedster villain. Obviously in the back half we could get speedster villain, we don't know who the villain is, but I think it's about damn time and you know we got another season, you know the last time we've had a speedster villain obviously we had Godspeed popping up a few times so that's that doesn't count. And you know the last time was Savitar at the end of uh, season 3 so it's going into season 7 now, this will be 4 seasons without a speedster villain and I think it's a it's about time we go back to that sort of formula that works very well in the past, you know, season one, two, then I love season three. So, yeah. So, that's very exciting. Let's move on. So, Supergirl is officially confirmed for season six, as well as Black Lightning for season four. Black Lightning um, was sort of teetering on the edge in terms of ratings. I think it's kind of similar to what Arrow is doing right now and Legends as well. So, like, pretty good. But, you know, not the best, so it was sort of in question. However, it's pretty solid in terms of ratings, and it's got a lot of fans of the show. So, you know, good on them for getting season four. And obviously, Batwoman has been ordered for its second season. That's a big thing. And Batwoman's actually doing the best right now. It's not beating The Flash, but I believe it's actually making the CW more money right now than you know all the other shows and it's doing really well for them so you know that's kind of a no-brainer that Batwoman gets the season two that's very exciting I need to catch up on Batwoman but as of right now people are liking it so yeah let's move back to Supergirl so Supergirl is officially getting a season six which is extremely extremely exciting to me so we can you know explore another season I'm still on the edge about the showrunners I really think they need to swap out the showrunners 
because, you know, I just, I feel like they've sort of lost their way in the past few seasons, you know, I think their themes have sort of overrided a lot of the story, the story hasn't been as interesting in the past few seasons, however, you know, there has been some good stuff that they've done, like, I really enjoy season 3, and I think season 3 is definitely more story focused, you know, it was all about rain and everything, and there wasn't like a sort of overarching theme, like season 4, it was about the politics and the sort of social issues of liberty and you know what it means to be an American and stuff and then this season it's been technology that's been a theme and I think there is a point at which you're fine and you sort of can stick with your theme but I think they have focused too much on the themes the past two seasons rather than thinking about the actual story and that's what sort of let it down at points but then when they've sort of let their themes take a backseat and there's more of a story to it, it's really worked and that's in terms of like Lex Luthor last season and Red Daughter towards the end, there just simply wasn't enough of it in the whole season but it got really good towards the end of the season and was more sort of like it was from the same people that made the Rain storyline so good and you know the Legion of Superheroes and stuff so you know I got glimpses of that at the end of last season but overall I feel like this season has been pretty good, but that's about it. It's nothing too interesting. You don't want to go back and rewatch all the episodes like you did in season three with Rain, with the Legion, with Monel, and with all the stuff that was going on in that season. And you know, even season two and one, I would happily go back. And obviously, I would go back and watch this season, but I just don't think it's anything too too amazing and too unforgettable however that's just my opinion so i'm kind of hoping for a bit of a change in terms of the story and what they focus on so i'm hoping it's more like season one two or three when we go into season six of supergirl so yeah very excited that it's been renewed and you know talking about the articles that came out recently from we got this covered you know we talked about it so many times i've ranted about them all the time However, this is kind of exciting, and as soon as I saw the renewed post that they posted on their Twitter and social media accounts, I instantly thought of, we got this covered. And that is the reason why you don't trust them, and that's the reason why you need to wait until there's official confirmation, and there is actual logical evidence that, you know, something like that could potentially happen if a show was going to end, or if a show was going to be cancelled. So seeing that Supergirl has been renewed for season 6 is obviously a no-brainer because it does so well for the CW in terms of adverts and such like that. Batwoman's doing that, I believe, this season to, you know, the highest degree. Obviously, The Flash always does CW really well. And so, you know, Supergirl, I think Melissa is actually on a contract to season 7, kind of like Grant and Steven, what he had. So, yeah, if Melissa wants to stick around, we'll definitely you know, potentially be getting like a season 7 for sure, and then season 8 probably as well. So I think it's pretty safe for now, and you know, considering that the CW are so confident in the shows, especially like Legends, you know, not having aired any episodes yet, it seems like this early renewal is a great sign for the future, and you know, they can start thinking about their new seasons, and what they're gonna do, you know, their story and such like that. So I think that's kind of a good idea to renew kind of early they've done that a couple of times over the last few years since we've been running this channel and since we've been covering dc tv and i think it's a good idea because you know they can you know start drafting script ideas and you know what they're going to potentially lay as seeds this season going into next season knowing that they're going to have a whole season to explore stuff and so yeah that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for tuning in and so much for watching this video tomorrow i actually should have two videos out because i pre-recorded a video earlier today that was supposed to go out today but then we got this big news and obviously we had to talk about it also there was a new crisis on infinite earth's poster that video should post tomorrow as well as the other videos, so double trouble for you guys. I'm sorry that the uploads haven't been as consistent recently, but it's just been very busy over the break. So thank you guys for tuning in, and remember, Crisis on Infinite Earths comes out in exactly a week on the 14th of January, so be on the lookout for the videos. So I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.
Icy Road.